Here's one. He's not a teacher. He's a YouTube actor. This is all fake. Your opinion is made clear in your hostile tone. You were pissed when they used the word bigoted. This isn't an impartial thought experiment. That's from AK. And I think I replied to that saying, no, I wasn't pissed. I just don't like when someone calls someone bigoted without being able to articulate the reasoning. So if a student says bigoted, it's just being like, okay, like why do you, before building it into the question, because the question was, given the fact that J.K. Rowling is bigoted, how does that affect your view of Harry Potter? It's like, whoa, that's a, we're jumping over something big here. So first we need to address that. So if you, if your thought was that I was pissed about the use of the word bigoted, it's, um, if I hadn't addressed that, it wouldn't have, it, I would not have been doing my job. Think about it, and I'm gonna respond to this comment while you think about it. Kieran Hannigan commented 18 hours ago, swept a whole lot under the rug there. If anyone wants to know why there are real problems with what JK has said, watch ContraPoints analysis. Maybe I will, I don't know what that is, but it would be great if you could tell us what's being swept under the rug rather than just saying, go check out this YouTuber. Could you articulate a little bit? What are the problems? Because I would really like to know. Someone said, uh, this seems like a completely fake interaction, but I do completely agree. And nothing Rowling said is transphobic. I mean, the word isn't even defined well. Stein Metal 4. Once again, it was, um, it's not completely fake. That was, it was not fake. Someone said, at least the student can admit he's wrong. It's whatever. This seems so staged, but the voice is so gay, I'm convinced. Adam Melissa's. I don't even know what that means. Is, would Barbie have worked 20 years ago? Would Barbie have worked 20 years ago? In what sense? Would it have resonated with audiences? To resonate with audiences. Here's the question. Would Barbie, had Barbie not had Ryan Gosling and, Mar Gosling and Margot Robbie playing those roles, would Barbie have worked today? So to say, would Barbie have worked 30 years ago, are you saying with the exact same cast? Because then the, then the cast would have resonated in the same way. I guess with the comparable, so, you know, say Bruce Willis and, or whatever. No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> and this is my opinion, but, um, no. So what's, it, your, what's the deeper point here? Is it not a reflection of our society? Is it not the right movie at the right time? Isn't it like almost... How is it a reflection of our society? Because we had to reach this point in the conversation what at least. Point, what point have we reached? The point of actually talking about these things and... Talking about what things? So, so Barbie is not based on just 2023 or 2024, so right? It's like years of like the Me Too movement, the, uh, women's okay. rights, okay? So, it, so it's, it's an ongoing uh, kind of conversation for the past many years. So do you think, let's, okay, we could start with, do you think the, the issue at the heart of Me Too, sexual assault in the office place and exploitation of women in the office place, do you think that was it's worse, base, so do you, do you think it was worse 20 years ago or worse today? Or 10 years ago? Do you think it was worse? Women in the workplace had it harder with bosses exploiting them 10 years ago or I today? I don't have the data, so I, I don't well, think you, it's an opinion-based, like... Given Me Too, given we've been a few years into this Me Too thing, there's more awareness on it. I think it would be logical to think, given more awareness, it's probably not as, you know, the casting couch used to be a common practice in Hollywood. Today it's being called out. Harvey Weinstein flourished for years. The last few years he hasn't, he was taken down. Ten years ago he was thriving and everyone looked the other way, act like it didn't happen. So, uh, but what, what are the deeper underlying things about Barbie that you think Barbie is about? 
obviously there's the thing with kin, the clash between men and women, right? The kids right. versus Barbies. So that was that's been going on, right? I mean, what dynamic is there that exists? You feel that you that exists today more than it did at any other time that would allow Barbie to succeed today. I didn't hate. I was entertained. I'm not oh, angry yeah, about it being <laughs> nominated. I'm not. I don't loathe its existence. I'm not no. up in arms about it at all. You know, I, I, it's. I was impressed at the creative take that, that what they were able to do with a doll. I thought that was very creative. I did like Little Women a lot more. I thought it was oh, a much, yes, much yeah. stronger piece of work by Greta Gerwig. Yeah. Um, and I don't think it should. I don't think it deserves to win Best Picture. I, I just that's just my opinion. I think. Do you have a prediction? Do I have? Yeah, I can make a prediction. I'm going to. I think Best Picture will go to Oppenheimer. I bet Best Picture will go to Barbie because they're going to try and compensate for the scandal that's happening now. Best picture to Barbie? Yeah, I think um, Killian Murphy will get best actor. Um, actress? I don't even know who's nominated. I know... Um, I, I bet Ryan Gosling will not get best supporting because it'll feed, that would feed into, because of the uh, controversy. They would, that would probably feed into it. And you best believe this is not an organic process. This is not like a vote, like a popular vote. Like they are, it's, it's the epitome of a rigged <laughs> contest. Uh, I mean, Hollywood itself is, so. Which is why it's difficult to go back to the beginning of this conversation to, com to use Hollywood as a microcosm for <coughs> inequality in the workplace between men and women, because you best believe there's inequality in the workplace. In Hollywood's like, yeah, you take a bad flaw of society, and, uh, and it's just going to be magnified by 10x in Hollywood. Whether it's Me Too, whatever it is, it's... Um. The worst seems to just sift. <laughs> I think that's all my predictions I can make. It's not any? even nominated for cinematography. W validly, so I would say. I mean, and some people might be upset by that, but if you, if, but just technically speaking, you have these very, and it's that's the thing is we're like, oh, it's so visually stunning, but it's not when you have a huge studio budget and a, a backlog. I didn't call it visually stunning. I called it eye candy because it's so eye candy. But <laughs> I would even disagree with that because it's not. You can build. If you had enough money, how difficult is it to build a really big Barbie house? It's just a matter of money and space, and that is can be checked off. Artistic vision and achievement can't. You can't buy that. You can't. People have been trying to replicate Gladiator for years, for just another example. But you can't. Money can't buy that thing, and that thing is really what the Oscars are, in my view, should be about that intangible, elusive thing that money cannot buy.